بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جی اسٹوڈنٹس اب ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از سینتھس آف اسٹارچ اینڈ سپروس Both starch and sucrose are synthesized from triose phosphate that is generated by the Calvin cycle. Talking about uh, dihydroxy acetone phosphate. Synthesis of starch takes place in the chloroplasts while sucrose synthesis occurs in the cytosol. First of all, synthesis of starch. It comprises uh, some steps. First, step is synthesis of fructose 1,6 base phosphate. This synthesis of fructose 1,6 base phosphate takes place by using dihydroxy acetone 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Dihydroxy acetone 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate with the help of enzyme fructose 1,6 bisphosphate aldolase is converted into fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. Ring structure of fructose fructofuranose. One phosphate is attached with the carbon number one, and other is at carbon number six. So this is the first step uh, for the synthesis of starch in the chloroplast. In the step first step. What are the two trioses used? Dihydroxy acetone 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Enzyme catalyzing this reaction is fructose 1,6 bisphosphate aldolase, and the product of the reaction is fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. In the second step, of starch synthesis. Fructose 1,6 phosphate, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate, sorry, is converted into fructose 6 phosphate. Here, this is fructose 1,6 bisphosphate from the previous reaction. One phosphate is group is removed from the carbon number one with the help of enzyme fructose one six bisphosphatase. One phosphate is removed and the product is fructose six phosphate. We have seen that in the first step, dihydroxy acetone 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. Then, this uh, fructose 1 6 bisphosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase. The third step is synthesis of glucose 6 phosphate. Fructose 6-phosphate is converted into its isomer 
glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexose phosphate isomerase isomerase enzyme hexose phosphate isomerase in the fourth step this glucose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 1 phosphate position of the phosphate group is changed with the help of enzyme phosphoglucomutase glucose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 1 phosphate then fructose glucose 1 phosphate glucose 1 phosphate is converted into adp glucose with the help of enzyme adp glucose pyrophosphorylase adp glucose pyrophosphorylase two phosphate removed one from the glucose 1 phosphate and other from the ATP and ATP is attached with the glucose at carbon number 1 this is ADP glucose actually this is required for the synthesis of starch Synthesis of starch requires ADP glucose, which are produced in the above five reactions in the chloroplast. In this way, ADP glucose are synthesized and then they Joined with the growing chain of the starch at the non reducing end to elongate the chain. This is ADP glucose. This ADP glucose. is attached with the start chain at the non-reducing end to elongate the starch chain. This is how starch is synthesized in the chloroplast. Look here. In the diagram, this is chloroplast. From the Calvin cycle, diose phosphates come. This diose phosphates mean dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Enzyme aldolase convert them into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. This fructose 1 6 bisphosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase. Then fructose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexose phosphate isomerase. Hexose glucose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 1 phosphate with the help of enzyme phosphoglucomutase. This uh, glucose 1 phosphate is converted into ADP glucose. This enzyme ADP glucopyrophosphorylase uses ATP and attaches ADP with the glucose and two phosphate groups are released, pyrophosphate are released. 
and these pyrophosphate are converted into orthophosphate with the help of uh, enzyme pyrophosphatase. Two phosphate groups, when attached, they are called uh, pyrophosphate, and a single phosphate group is called in orthophosphate. This ADP glucose. Joined with other glucose molecule with the help of enzyme starch synthase and starch is produced. The same triose phosphates which uh, are used to produce starch. They are used to produce sucrose in the cytosol. Similar sort of reactions take place here with a small difference. The membrane of the chloroplast contain translocator. triose phosphate translocator, pyrophosphate translocator, orthophosphate translocator. When cell has to synthesize uh, sucrose, these triose phosphate passes through these translocator and enters here in the cytosol. In the cytosol, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, which we have uh, studied in the start synthesis, are converted into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate with the help of enzyme aldolase. This similar reaction take place. So, we have to do this reaction. Then, this fructose 1,6 bisphosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase. One orthophosphate in organic phosphate is released. This fructose 6-phosphate is converted into glucose 6-phosphate with the help of enzyme hexose phosphate isomerase. As you have seen, that similar kind of reaction take place here in the cytosol as well as in the chloroplast. This glucose 6-phosphate is converted into glucose 1-phosphate with the help of enzyme phosphoglucomutase. From here onward, different reaction occur. As we have seen in the chloroplast, this glucose 1-phosphate convert into ADP glucose, which is going to synthesize starch. However, in the cytosol, this glucose 1-phosphate is converted into UDP glucose with the help of enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. Same group of enzyme, but this enzyme at this, at that is at this time using UTP, uridine triphosphate instead of ATP. Two phosphate group release and the product is UDP glucose. 
as we have studied, similar sort of reaction, very similar type of reaction take place in the chloroplast as during the synthesis of starch and uh, in the cytosol during the synthesis of cellulose. But at the end, in the cytosol, we got UDP glucose instead of uh, ATP glucose. Now, this UDP, UDP glucose combined with fructose 6-phosphate with the help of enzyme sucrose phosphate synthase. As a result, sucrose phosphate is produced. This sucrose phosphate is converted into sucrose by enzyme sucrose phosphate phosphatase removing the phosphate group from the sucrose phosphate. This is how sucrose is synthesized in the cytosol. As we have seen, synthesis of starch and sucrose uses the same thiose phosphate. However, starch synthesis does take place in the chloroplast, whereas sucrose synthesis takes place in the cytosol. Almost similar type of reaction take place. If I am summarizing these reaction, thiose phosphate, as we have uh, studied these thiose phosphate are actually dihydroxyacetone 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate from the calvin cycle these uh, thiose phosphates are converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate with the enzyme aldolase Fructose 1, 6 bisphosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme phosphatase. Fructose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme isomerase. Glucose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 1 phosphate with the help of enzyme mutase. And from here, different reaction take place in the chloroplast. Up to the formation of glucose 1-phosphate, similar type of reaction take place in the chloroplast as well in the cytosol. And from here onward, from glucose 1-phosphate, in the chloroplast, glucose 1-phosphate is converted into ADP glucose with the help of uh, enzyme ADP glucose pyrophosphorylase using ATP. As a result, ADP glucose is formed and this ADP glucose is used to synthesize starch. However, in the cytosol, glucose 1-phosphate is converted into UDP glucose with the help of enzyme, enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. UDP is used here and the product is UDP glucose. This UDP glucose combined with the, another fructose 6-phosphate to produce sucrose phosphate. This sucrose phosphate undergo this phosphatase into sucrose phosphate is converted into sucrose and the phosphate group is released. So we have seen that uh, synthesis of starch and sucrose are competing processes. What are the factors which help uh, the cell to whether it is going to synthesize starch or sucrose? Relative concentration of orthophosphate and triose phosphate are the major factors that control whether cell is going to synthesize starch in the chloroplast are sucrose in the cytosol. Cell ko kaise pata chalega 
कि उसने सक्रोज बनाना है या स्टार्च बनाना है ऑर्थोफास्फेट की और ट्राइसफास्फेट की कंसंट्रेशन जो रिलेटिव कंसंट्रेशन है मकाबलतन कंसंट्रेशन है वो सेल को बताएगी कि उसने स्टार्च बनाना है या सुक्रोज बनाना है एज वी हैव सीन इन द फिगर बोथ दीज कंपार्टमेंट्स बोथ कंपार्टमेंट मीन क्लोरोप्लास एंड साइटोसोल दे आर सेपरेटेड बाय अ मेम्ब्रेन but the membrane two compartments communicate with one another via phosphate triose phosphate translocator also called phosphate translocator as i have told you that the membrane of the chloroplast has phosphate translocator triose phosphate translocator they are built in the membrane of the chloroplast and they communicate chloroplast and the cytosol phosphate translocator catalyzes the movement of the orthophosphate and triose phosphate in opposite direction between chloroplast and cytosol phosphate translocator catalyzes the movement of orthophosphate and triose phosphate in opposite direction a low concentration of orthophosphate in the cytosol limits the export of triose phosphate from the chloroplast to the translocator thereby promoting the synthesis of starch wo keh raha hai ki agar cytosol ke andar orthophosphate ki concentration kam hogi to triose phosphate chloroplast se bahar nahi niklenge chloroplast ke andar hi rahenge aur starch synthesize ho a low concentration of ortho orthophosphate in the cytosol will restrict the movement of triose phosphate from the chloroplast to translocator thereby promoting the synthesis of starch however when there is high concentration of orthophosphate in the cytosol triose phosphate will move through the translocator and enter the cytosol and promote the synthesis of sucrose is jagah par cytosol ke andar agar orthophosphate zyada hoga to triose phosphate chloroplast se bahar aakar sucrose banayega अगर यहां आर्थोफास्फेट की कंसंट्रेशन कम होगी तो टाइसफास्फेट कैलवन साइकिल से जो आए हैं वो क्लोरोप्लास्ट के अंदर ही रहेंगे और स्टार्च की सेंथेसिस होगी देर आर सम अदर कंप्लीकेटेड मैकेनिज्म्स विच कंट्रोल द सेंथेसिस ऑफ स्टार्च एंड सक्रोस बट वी विल स्टडी this portion of the topic only this is all about synthesis of starch and sucrose thank you